The AHS girls basketball team had a special weekend. A policy change about facial piercings could be coming. Spring is about to happen, and with good weather, you may be looking to get into some activities. Andy has a report on a new business opening up that might give you that opportunity. Welcome to the show. I'm Connor Kasky. And I'm Noah Haddock. Today is Tuesday, March 5th. Thanks for joining us. ATV starts now. New Arlington businesses are opening up all over the town. Andy tells us about a new athletic facility opening up for Arlington citizens. In the third month of the year, there are some people who are still working on their New Year's resolutions. A new facility has opened up for those that want to stay fit. Currently, I'm at Airline Road, where it, it's located at uh, nearby Arlington Climate Controlled Storage as, w as well as the yard which is also located back s the backside of the storage facility. This indoor uh, athletic training facility has many uh, wide ranges to offer t for you to choose. A thousand, a thousand square foot gym, group exercise classes, sports specific training programs, a turf field, uh, batting cages, and more. Right now, it curr it's currently um, in progress, but it should open uh, this month of this year. For more information, go to www.theyard901.com. Your AHS Lady Tigers have been on a roll lately, taking down any and all opponents with a perfect record of 8-0 to in the district. Saturday, they defeated Whitehaven with a final score of 64-55 to in the sub-state game and qualified for the state tournament. Great job, Tigers. We wish you luck in state as they face Riverdale tomorrow in Murfreesboro. If you have facial piercings and are wondering if they are acceptable at school or not, there will be a board meeting on March 26 at 5.30. In the, in the meeting, they will discuss whether or not students will be allowed to wear facial piercings during school hours. The policy was on the agenda at the February meeting, but was tabled for more discussion. As many of you may know, this was Coach Deaton's last year of coaching varsity boys basketball. With a great coaching career at being at AHS, it's time to pass on the torch. Coach Deaton will still be teaching lifetime sports, so make sure you stop by and tell him thanks for what he has done for the game of basketball here at AHS. This year, St. Patrick's Day is during spring break. It will be March 17th, which is the Sunday after spring break. Make sure to be safe and rested for school the following week. We'll be back with more ATV in just a minute. But first, here's Will with the weather. Hello, my name is Will Evans here to give you your weekly weather report. So on Tuesday, it is going to be mostly sunny with a high of 36 and a low of 21. Same with Wednesday, also sunny, high of 42, low of 29. And then Thursday, it is going to be cloudy with a chance of rain uh, with a high of 51, low of 40. And then Friday, 40% chance of rain with a high being 57, low being 42. Saturday and Sunday, both with a chance of rain of 50%, high being 58, and low 46. Now back to the anchors at the desk. Stay right there, Tigers. We have more in store for you after this PSA break. Um, hello, y'all. Uh, I'm Ms. Chisholm, the college counselor I'm here at the high school, and we're going to talk a little bit about scholarships today. Um, the first question that I was asked are why are scholarships so important? Um, with the cost of college expense, whether you're doing a two-year, a four-year, or a VOTEC, um, trade school, um, with the cost and expenses continuing to go up every year, um, scholarships are vital. Whether you that is some type of financial aid assistance that you access through your FAFSA or a specific scholarship that you um, earn or are eligible for, anything that can help cut the cost of that expense is beneficial to you. 
it is never our goal for you to finish um, your post-secondary education with large amounts of debt. Um, so any way that we can avoid that, and certainly scholarships play a huge role in that. So as a result, they're very, very important. Last Thursday, the boys and girls lacrosse teams played against Bartlett. The boys team won 7-1 and the girls team lost. The next boys game is tonight at 7.30 at home, so come out and support your Tigers as they play against ECS. Both the baseball and softball teams are going to tournament over spring break, and the Tarak team is heading out for the Jamboree. Good luck to all the Tigers, and now back to Anchors at the desk. Now let's take a look at the expectations versus reality of spring break. So you got any plans for spring break? Uh, yeah, actually I'm going to a cabin like up in Gatlinburg. Okay, but why? Why Gatlinburg? Um, I like the outdoors, you know, just like a, you know, mountains, cool area. Understandable. Yeah. You know? now, I'm just going to be at home, you know, sleeping. C you know, it could be better depending, you know, whatever. <laughs> I think that's okay. the best way to go. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed the show today. We thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you can find all the previous ATV shows on AHSTigerLife.com and click on the ATV link. Have a great weekend and see you next week.